You know, one of the techniques that's been really, um, it's nothing new to a lot of anglers, is a drop shot. And when we talk about drop shotting, I mean, it's been around for ages and ages and ages. But on the walleye side of thing, it's something pretty new. When we talk about a walleye strike zone, it's that eight inches to a foot and a half off the bottom. That's typically where those fish are feeding. And so you always want to keep that bait above the fish and walleyes like to stay close to the bottom and you want that bait above the fish because that's their tendency to look up. Some of the baits that I really like to throw one is the twitch tail minnow and this is a minnow profile bait the unique thing about the twitch tail minnow is the ability for this bait i mean we've got just a little bit of breeze today and i'm not moving it that bait constantly is on the move and in any little bit of current any movement of the rod that bait's moving and it it creates that lifelike action this one happens to be opening night and the reason why i like opening night is because of the flake in it it's got some longer flake in it it's got that purple hue that i, I really like in a minnow bait um, but that flake in a clear water situation reflects a lot of light and has that real life like scale pattern one of the other colors i mean walleyes are known for pink um, pink and white is just a great walleye color year round um, but the pink shine in the twitch tail there again the tail constantly moves and these are both power bait baits. When I explain power bait, it's scent impregnated. And when we talk about walleyes, walleyes are really scent orientated. And one of the things that anglers struggle with is that transition between soft plastics and, and live bait. And one of the things that you're forced to nowadays with all the regulations and things like that, a transportation of bait and things like that, I've always got these baits in the boat. So I don't have to worry about transporting bait worry about throwing it away at the end of the day. I've always got these baits, but there's a couple others and there's a couple other scent options for you. Um, one would be Max Scent. And the cool thing about Max Scent, it's still water-based and it, it disperses a lot of scent in the water. Um, a very soft, pliable bait, you can leave it out all day. Um, it doesn't dry out and it has that scent all day. The Flatworm is just a straight up killer bait has a minnow profile, but also has that goby profile. When we talk about the Great Lakes, walleyes feed on a lot of gobies. So the flatworm really does that. Also the flat nose minnow is another great max scent bait, but probably my go-to for walleyes would be the gulp. Um, and when we talk about gulp baits, you've got gulp minnows, you've got the four inch crawlers. Um, four inch crawler probably is my go-to and another great option, power bait option. And this is when we talk about that transition between artificial and live bait, this is the bait. These are real live printed image baits. Those things that the walleyes are naturally feeding on, the baits that you go into your bait store and, and buy the live bait, well, this is the transition between that live bait and the artificial. And the cool thing about power bait, max scent, and gulp is that it has that scent. A couple of the ways I really like to rig different baits and you know when we talked about those baits you had a lot of different minnow style baits and then you had the worm style baits. Um, this one happens to be the max scent flatworm and you notice here I've got it nose hooked. It's a Fusion 19 drop shot hook and what we've done is just actually nose hook it and when we nose hook baits a lot of times that gives that bait a lot of freedom on the on the hook and it sits there and moves so a lot of my minnow profile baits and things like that the smaller baits i'll nose hook like this one of the things i like to do is, is so that hook doesn't get hung up in the cover is actually use a texas style rig and this happens to be that four inch crawler and when you're using bigger baits you can do this but we've actually got this texas rigged and the cool thing about that is I can pull this through cover, flooded timber, um, around grass, things like that, and I don't have to worry about that hook getting hung up on the cover, but when the fish grabs it on this Fusion 19 worm hook, literally it pushes down and that hook's exposed instantly. So we're just hiding that hook tip right in the bait. Um, this four inch crawler works really well and it imitates a lot of different baits. So when we talk about drop shots, it's really, it's not a hard technique to, to use and it's a very successful technique because it keeps that bait in the strike zone all the time.